yeah, I'm glad that um, some of the mud about parties is actually sticking because this is one of those stories in general where I started to get annoyed by it and thought, no, this this will end up being buried. That I mean, there are probably people who see the picture of that tweet and everyone's seen that picture and some people will be like, yeah, well, you got to have fun and those people I can't stand. And I'm one of those sour faces that they, that's they that been all over the news about this uh, party story because last Christmas I didn't get to spend any time with my dad for his last Christmas. And then t- uh, 15th of January, he passed away of COVID. So I'm a bit angry about all of this party lark. Um, and I've worked out why, because even though you can you can make a sentence that says, oh, you know, they've worked hard, they're only having fun, whatever. It's like we were all crashed on a desert island. And we all had to survive a year on terrible rations. And then at the end of it, you get some pictures of the Conservatives absolutely having a banquet. Mm-hmm. They've found the secret room with the secret food. Now, that might not be illegal, but what it is, is infuriating. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, I'm just annoyed by all of this. But it just shows that the reason we should have been annoyed in the first place. We inherently knew that they had this one rule for them, one rule for us. You know, if you can get away with it, why wouldn't you? Is a mantra that runs through so many people. And I'm glad we start to find out. It's actually starting to move the dial. I know we're talking about just over a week since Labour uh, had its biggest lead in the polls. The biggest mm. lead since 2014. Mm. And admittedly, it's not really Labour's success. That's yeah. like winning the Tour de France because everyone else had a crash. Um, but still, yeah. it's nice that we're seeing what actual types of people we're dealing with here. This photo obviously has, has uh, been... Uh, enjoyed by or people like Matt Hyten doing the David Brent memes and all the rest of it, the guy. And there's also, I just noticed for the first time that this guy who's uh, sort of horizontal is, is rocking such a 1980s yuppie look. Uh, it's unbelievable. So you can't say there isn't continuity in the Tory party. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, it's a big one. And people are comparing it. it to that picture in The Shining of everybody gathered around in the ballroom, you know, like a hundred years earlier. And um, it could be like the sort of same photo from the 1973 Conservative Party Christmas bash. Um, and they've just like sort of turned into waxworks and the ghost of Christmas past is back to haunt them kind of thing. Yeah. It, it's not a party until someone's horizontal or, uh, you know, it must be the tagline on that one. But it's the but jumper. Yeah, that's, 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 no, no, it's the jumper, isn't it? That's the... Yeah. And you also know when they do that position, you know, so, there's been a lot of drink uh, involved. There's been a lot of alcohol before you do the little sliding on the floor and then it, you're going to pay for those bruises the next day when you've done that. But yeah, that's obviously... that's just a re-smog lying down pose. That's just uh. keeping it on brand. <laughs> Have you ever done that pose, guys? Anyone? Not with my bad back. It does look like how my old not eleven my side team used to defend. But <laughs> you know, I'm tempted to say not with my clothes on. <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, allowed. This is allowed. Yeah. That's fine. I mean, showing. you know, you're right. It's not a party till somebody lies down, but it's not a real party <laughs> until somebody lies down naked. That's that's the truth of the matter, isn't it? I've just got an image of... And if those p- pictures emerge of the Conservative Party, I think nobody will ever vote for them again. I think that might be the end of the line. 